Hey guys, let's look at a really useful formula. And uh, this formula is called VLOOKUP, and what it does is it combines data from two different uh, tables. So in this particular case, we've got a table here on the first sheet <clears throat> that is contact information. Now for simplicity and, and ease of use, this table has been named IT contact T for table. And on the next uh, sheet over, this is the what I call the budget sheet, and this has a table on it that is called the department budget table. Okay, so it's got the uh, instructional text, uh, a department listing, uh, and then their budget. So obviously this is all made up because that doesn't make those numbers don't make any sense, right? Uh, so under contact, let's let's say that we want to add the budget to uh, this list. Like, let's just say this doesn't exist as a column and we want to add it now. So easy peasy, you just type in the name of the column next to it and now it makes that new column as part of this table, right? So what we want to do is we want to, we don't want to have to flip back and forth. We want Excel to do the look, the lookup for us. We want it to do the work. And the other thing to remember, we can't just copy and paste because this one is sorted by last name and in this page, it is sorted by department. So um, we could um, change this around and, and sort by last name because it's a table, so it'd be really easy to do, and then copy and paste the, the values. But uh, that's not fun, and that's not reality. Um, the reality is that you're probably not going to want to change the formatting there. So let's just use VLOOKUP. Okay, so equals VLOOKUP. And then the first thing we're going to do, VLOOKUP wants to know what are we looking for, right? What is our what is our parameter that we're starting for? We're going to look at last name, okay? So because this is in tables, it puts in a bracket that it's going to look at at the last name column in this table. So it's just an at sign for this table, and then last name, okay? And then we're going to um, and then it has the close bracket. When we're doing again, when we're when we're referring to tables it's going to use the square brackets okay inside the parentheses we're going to have a comma and that tells excel we're we're talking about the next item that we're that we need to talk about now and this is the table array now very very important that vlookup when it's the table array is where it's going to be looking where it's going to be focused for its search it's very important that the le the leftmost column the first column in this table array is going to include the data that you're searching for okay so in this case it's last name to last name we have to start with last name we can't start the search over here on the other table with first name because it's going to be looking for in that case boils here in the in this column it needs to start right here and we're going to tell it to look uh, for this particular um, uh, table department budget table last name through budget okay so this is um, when I when I clicked over to this it, it went ahead and added this information in um, so that's already done for us and then the the next thing we want it to do is that column index num this this one right here in other words which one out of this is it going to return so if we wanted to know if we wanted to know that uh, Boyles was in the music department then we would say two it's the second column if we wanted to, to know the budget which is what we want we tell it three so we're going to put three which means it's going to find the last name and then it's going to report the third column over from there okay now the next thing uh, it says technically that it's optional the default is uh, true which means it's going to give whatever answer is there uh, we want it to say false, uh, and that'll give us the exact number that's there and nothing that's rounded. And uh, if there's no number there, it'll actually say false, and that'll give you an indication that there's been some kind of uh, problem. Okay, so we have the whole thing uh, entered in. I'm going to hit enter. It shoots us back over here to the original one, and now it's got that budget number. Of course, that formatting isn't right, so we'll highlight that Well, We can just... Grab that and hit the little financing uh, dollar sign there, and that that puts it in an accounting look, and it gives us our our number. 
Now, we don't want to have to do all that work for all of these. So let's go back to our basics. And remember, we can grab the corner here and drag down and ta-da. It uh, autofills that. It's looking at the last name corresponding with this row. And then it's looking at the department budget table, last name through budget, third, false, boom. Done, 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 done. If we wanted to know which department they were a member of, again, that's equals the lookup. And we're going to look at last name. And then we want to go over to budget and tell it these three, right? And then a comma. And we want the second column. We want to know which department they're in. Comma, fall, oop, false, end, enter, boom, music, right? So then we can go drag that down and it tells us what department it's in. It's that easy. Think of all the time that that would have saved as compared to flipping back and forth, maybe even printing this one and then holding that paper in front of you and then retyping all of it over here. What a pain in the butt. Well, we don't have to do that. We can use VLOOKUP and now it's got it all in there. It tells us exactly what our data is. And everyone is so happy.